Yes, we were there for that precious moment. You can see behind me, this is the gathering here. More than a dozen people who loved that five-year-old little girl. Uh, just within the last two minutes, they released dozens of balloons into the air saying, fly high. You can see behind me, there's candle lights. There are posters with her face there. Family and loved ones are honoring five-year-old Kamaya Donaldson. They came to honor her life here just outside the Wiz Kids Academy where she and her brother went to daycare. Here you can see the show of love and support all to remember a sweet girl who loved pink. Her loved ones now looking for justice. July 3rd, Kamaya's mother picked her and her eight-year-old brother up from this 24-hour daycare around 1 a.m. after work. The mother stopped at Northboro and Rush Creek Drive. That's when a silver Honda Accord drove through and started shooting at a store nearby. One of those bullets struck the family's car. One of them hit Kamaya. She died at the hospital. Now this community is coming together to denounce senseless violence and hopes that the shooter will be held accountable for taking this beautiful little girl's life. It's heartbreaking. I can't imagine what, what Kamaya's mom and, and, and her older brother are doing and, and how they're feeling. So it's, it's heartbreaking because she was only five years old. I have a four-year-old and a six-year-old that were friends with her. I'm glad that my baby stopped the rain. And that's probably my one star up there in the sky. She stopped the rain for us, so this was possible. And it feels really good just to have the love and the support because... You know, during a time like this, you don't, it, it's, the world weighs heavy on your shoulders. So, no, it feels really good. Again, within the last five minutes, her loved one stood in a circle and released dozens of balloons into the sky, saying fly high with prayer. And now you see what comes next, the candlelight, the reflection, the storytelling, and the comfort to honor the life of a five-year-old girl who, as you can see, was very, very loved. We're reporting live tonight from Northwest Houston. Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, 2 News.